Welcome to another video tutorial from WPMU Dev, your all-in-one WordPress platform. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a members-only area in WordPress on a small budget, actually a teeny tiny budget. So why do you need a membership site? What do you want to achieve? What does your business actually need? Do you need a fully automated membership site with advanced bells and whistles hosted on a dedicated server? Or just a way to offer protected content to a select group of users? To help you work out exactly what you need before you begin building a membership site, we've created a checklist of all the questions you should ask and the steps you need to complete to get the membership site that will best suit your needs. Since we're going to build a simple members only area in this tutorial, let's start with the most basic essential elements of a membership site. A membership site needs to offer some form of membership level, even if it's just a free membership. More advanced membership site solutions allow you to have unlimited membership levels, but we'll just start with one for now. Next, a membership site needs to be able to register members. So we need some form of member registration functionality. Finally, a membership site needs to be able to protect content so that only members can access it. Content protection then is the essential element that makes a membership site different than all other types of websites. If you want to sell access to your content, you may also want to add a payment processor to the setup. And if you also plan to build a list of members that you can contact with updates and upsells, you should also add an email capture form. But these are all additional features. Essentially, all we need to start with, especially if we're on a teeny tiny budget, is a membership level, member registration, and content protection. So the next question, now that we understand the essential elements of a membership site, is why use WordPress to build a membership site? Well, the simple answer is that WordPress is the ideal platform for building membership sites. In fact, WordPress is the ideal platform for building any kind of a website, but let's just stick with membership sites for now. Some of the things that make WordPress an ideal platform for membership sites is that it already comes with built-in features and functionality that uh, developers can then extend on or customize or build advanced features for. And some of these uh, are built-in features and functionality include offering user roles, user registrations, the ability to store and export data in a database, and privacy features. And what we want to focus on in this tutorial is one of these privacy features, which is the humble password protection feature. Now, WordPress comes with a built-in password protection feature, and this is what we're going to use to build our very simple members-only access area in a WordPress site. So let me take you through an actual example now and show you how we would build uh, this very simple members only access area in WordPress. So here I am logged into uh, uh, my demo uh, WordPress site. And the first thing we want to do is we want to either create a new post or we want to create a new page. For this example, I'm going to create a new page. So we come here and we go pages, add new. Now here we are on a brand new uh, WordPress page. And the first thing I want to point out is that if you want to hide your uh, membership uh, area or, or our members only access page from the general public, uh, from your regular web visitors, what you would do is you could nest it. You can do this if you're doing if you're using a page. So uh, we can nest it under another page. So it just just gets a, a hidden uh, from from view. We we want we we're not protecting anything yet. We're just basically nesting it under a couple of layers of different pages uh, because it doesn't really matter where we put it uh, as long as we can give our new members access to the page. So. All we have to do now is basically start adding content to our page or to our post. 
So here's where you would add the, the content that you want to protect, like a video or a downloadable a guide, a PDF a guide or an ebook, uh, some templates, whatever it is that you want to uh, protect and restrict access to. So as you can see here, I've already gone ahead and I've created a, a little bit of a download page of our members access download area. Um, so here we have a video and here we have some downloadable templates. And once you've added your content, the next step is to turn the visibility of this page or post from public into password protected. So we come to password protected and here we create a password. So this can be whatever it is. We're going to go with this. And once we have our password protected page, let's go ahead and publish it. So now that the page is published, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And here you can see this is what your members access area will look like to someone who hasn't got the password. So now that you've got the setup, how do people access the content? Well, very simple. You email them the password. And this is where having uh, some form of an email capture form is useful because essentially what you would do is you would capture the details and then you would mail them email them the password and so once a member receives the password they enter it and now they have access to their member download area so that's all very simple and um, as I said if you don't need anything fancy if all you need to do is to restrict some content uh, for a specific group of members just choose the built-in WordPress password protect feature I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.